Hello folks, so this is 2022, May, June, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 8. This question is concerned with the chapter of forces, since it deals with the lots of forces, including friction. It says a child of mass 20 kgs, so a child of mass 20 kgs, on the rough surface of a sledge, sledge of mass 40 kgs, so 40 kgs here, mass of sledge is 40 kgs. The sledge can slide on a horizontal frictional surface, so here, no friction here, on the surface. One end of a rope is attached by the to the sledge. So one end of the rope is attached to the sledge here. Sledge. The rope passes around a fixed frictionless pole. Around passes around here, and the other end of the rope is held by the child. By the child, as shown. The rope is horizontal, so it is uh, considered to uh, remove the effect of any other forces. The child pulls on the rope. The child pulls on the rope, so it gives a tension force like this, like somewhat like this. With a original force of 12 newton. newton, this causes the child and the sledge to move with equal acceleration towards the pole. So, child and the sledge also moves towards the pole. What is the frictional force between the child and the sledge? So, between the child and the sledge, we have to find the frictional force. One thing that we have to remember is, when uh, the child gives a pull here, pull here, the child would like to go in this direction. So, what the sledge does is, sledge applies a frictional force like this like this so f f because the friction is always opposite so that's why child tries to move like this and sledge will apply a force like this so for the child what happens is uh, this is the force applied by the string on the child tension force here this is a frictional force and it accelerates in this direction a so for the child what we should have is we should have is Tension minus frictional force should be is equal to mass of the child into A. So tension force here minus frictional force here is equal to mass of child into A of the child. Which gives me tension is 12 Newton. 12 Newton minus FF is equal to mass of child is 20 kg. So it is 20A now for the child. Now similarly, when the child moves like this, and the sledge also moves like this. The child exerts this type of force on the sledge. The child exerts this type of force on the sledge. So this is also friction here. This is again friction. So in this case, the direction of friction is here. And on the sledge, the tension force is like this. Again here. So now here, the tension and this thing, they are in the same direction. So what I see is, the resultant is T plus FF should be equal to Resultant force on the sledge, so it should be equal to mass of sledge into A. Okay. And we are given that the value of A for both the sledge and the child are same. So AA, equation like this. So this should be 12 plus FF is equal to mass of sledge is 40 and then A. Okay. Now we have to remember here that the assertion is same for both and also the tension force will be same throughout the string, throughout the string here. So that's why it is equal to somewhat like this. So we have two equations here. One is this and one is this. So when I solve those two equations, let, let me add them. If I add them, I will have 24 is equal to, is equal to 60A, which gives me A is equal to 24 by 60 equal to 0 0.4 meter per second square. This is A. When I apply this value over here, it will be 12 plus FF is equal to 40 into 0 0.4 equal to 16. So therefore, FF is equal to 16 minus 12 equal to 4 Newton. So the answer is 4 Newton, which is available in, in, in choice number A. So choice number A is the correct choice.